I'm finally replacing my DT770 headphones. This is the new Biodynamic DT700 Pro X and the DT900 Pro X headphones. First, let me get this out of the way. If you already have the old DT770 or 990 headphones, I don't think you need to jump to upgrading to these. Honestly, I've been very happy with the DT770 250 ohm headphones for years, and I know many of you own them. And if yours are still holding up well, then keep them. But if you're in the market for new headphones, or if you need to replace your old Biodynamics, then you need to consider these. Because it's everything I loved about the DT770 and 990, and then some. In this video, I'll talk about the features, build quality, sound quality, and which one, the closed or open back, are right for you. In fact, I'll even share a couple other headphones that I love and a cheaper pair if you decide these aren't right for you. I'll include links to these headphones and everything else I talk about in this video in the description below. Here's some quick stats on the new Pro X headphones. And while you're reading those, if you're new around here, I'm Sanjay C. I have tons of videos on music production and the latest music gear on my channel. Consider subscribing because I always love to get to the most interesting stuff right away. So yeah, let's get into it. These are the DT770, which I've used for a few years now. They are cheaper than the 700 Pro X. Let me tell you what I've loved about them over the years. The DT770s and the open back version, the 990s, are excellent for picking out problems in your mix because they're super clear, crisp, and the separation of sound is amazing, specifically on the 250 ohms. You can hear your voice separated from the synth, the pianos, drum hi-hats are clear, and things moving from left to right just sound so easy to distinguish. The first time I used them after a friend of mine recommended them, I was amazed and I immediately bought a pair myself. In my opinion, the new 700 and 900 Pro X headphones are pretty similar. They're louder, less crisp on the high frequencies, and a little better bass, specifically on the 700s. Now, none of these have the loudest bass. I found that the Audio-Technica ATH M50X headphones have more. Not really balanced in my opinion, but if you want to hear more bass, you may like those too. The Openback 900 Pro X has less bass than the 700 Pro X. Let's talk about balance for a sec since I just mentioned that. The Pro X headphones are not totally flat. I feel that they accentuate high frequencies just like the 770s and 990s. But the Pro X headphones are more balanced, closer to being flat. Honestly, with my 770s, I sometimes incorrectly overcompensated for over accentuated high frequencies in my mixes. I have to remind myself that things sound different through my monitors. Now, since I've been using the 770s for a long time, I knew I have to look out for this. And you'll find that learning any headphones is key. Once you learn what your headphones are putting out, you'll know how to mix accordingly. Now, I've enjoyed mixing with my 770s, so I'm looking forward to mixing with the 700 Pro X as well, and hopefully not making that overcompensation mistake as much. But wait a second, aren't the open backs better for mixing? But yeah, I'm probably going to still be mixing more with the closed back 700s, and I'll let you know why in a sec. Okay, so these new Pro X headphones aren't cheap. They're more expensive than the DT770s and 990s, $140 more. From Biodynamics Best Studio Headphones, they sit in the middle between the DT770s or 990s and the DT1770s and 1990s. According to Biodynamic, these have an upgraded driver with a lower impedance, 48 ohms, which means that unlike the 250 ohm versions that I was using before, which can be pretty quiet depending on what you're using them with, the Pro X line is loud enough all the time. That means you can plug these straight into your laptop or smartphone and get enough volume. But the cost isn't just because of the new driver. The build quality is better than the cheaper 770s and 990s. The Pro X line has a nicer finish all around. The plastic on the 770 feels a bit cheaper. 
The ear pads are just as comfortable. The material feels slightly different, silkier in my opinion. Comfort is excellent. I've tried these for long sessions and the comfort holds up. The new 700 Pro X and the 900 Pro X have detachable everything. Ear pads, headband pad, and the cable, which is great if things wear out or get damaged. They're easily replaceable. By the way, in the box you get two cables. One is about six feet and the other is around 10 feet. They come with a bag, which could be handy if you travel with these. Now, both cables are straight, which I don't know if I really like. I seem to get straight cables tangled more. I wish they included a coiled option. Okay, let me address something about open back headphones that doesn't seem to get enough coverage. And it's something pretty annoying. The noise leak coming in. More often than not, I pick up headphones because I need to tune out outside noise and focus on what I'm hearing while mixing or listening to music. This is usually when my wife is watching TV in the next room or talking on the phone or something. Everyday life stuff. And as much as I'd like to use the open back headphones all the time because, well, they just sound wider, more spacious, just better overall for mixing and closer to studio monitors, it just doesn't work in my environment. I find myself picking up closed back much more. And if you share your space with someone else or you hear lots of noise from outside, it's going to get annoying at times. So is open better for listening and mixing? Yes, you'll enjoy mixing with these more if you can listen in a quiet environment. You'll love them, in fact. I should also mention that open back leaks noise out as well, so people around you will hear what you're listening to. And if you're recording a vocal take with a microphone, that mic is going to pick up the noise from your headphones, so these are not to be used when you're recording with a microphone. Okay, so yeah, I like these, but should you consider something different? Maybe these don't fit your budget. Well, if you need something less expensive, I would still recommend the tried and true DT770 250 ohm headphones above pretty much everything else I've tested at that price point. For $160, I think they're an excellent value and I love using them while recording vocals and mixing. You won't get the detachable cable or the superior build quality on the 700 or 900 Pro X, but they're still excellent. Now, if you need something with more bass, consider the Audio-Technica ATH M50X headphones. They are super popular with lots of producers, not as comfortable as the Biodynamic DT770s, but still nice. Also, if you're looking for something cheap and flat, look at the Sony MDR7506 headphones. I've recommended those before. They are inexpensive and really great for mixing and tracking. Definitely not up to the superior build quality of any of the Biodynamics. If you decide you wanna upgrade from the DT770, you're gonna be happy with the new Pro X. But don't throw away your 770s or 990s. These sound different, but for a wide variety of uses, you get a better product all around. Better build quality, detachable, everything. And you will be familiar with the sound, so you're not gonna be relearning your mixing habits entirely. Now, if you're in the market for a new set of headphones at this price point, you'll be very happy with these. And I am finally replacing my DT770 headphones. You can get the 700 and 900 Pro X headphones using the links below. If you have a question about these, leave them in the comments. Keep making the music you love. And hey, if you want to check out more headphones that I would recommend for your studio, you can watch the video right here.